Hello everyone, Brickasaurus227. Welcome to Nerf Thrifting, Episode 6. Alright, so I'll do what I usually do. Start with the least best finds and then go to the, the best finds of the past month. So here we are. Here's the first find. This is a... Busby Air Warrior Sonic 6, and these are actually really neat. This is a really neat blaster. I've never seen this before. I didn't even know Air Warriors had such a thing, but I guess they were trying to copy the Sonic series, which was really clear blasters, but they kind of have a clear cylinder. But this lights up. You flip this switch here if you want to turn it on. And you go here, and it's hard to see. Uh, maybe I should turn off some lights. Now nah, I'll do that. Nah, I don't. But this lights up, and it makes a sound when you cock. And it shoots elite darts because it's a venture horse. And of course, you can turn that annoying thing off if you want to. It, seemed, it had a really comfortable handle, and it shoots elite darts because it's, I mean, it's air warriors. So yeah, it's not like the Tech Six. This looks really interesting. I don't know if it's rare or not. I doubt it. A lot. There's not really that many rare Busby uh, air warriors blasters. So I'll, we'll see. I'll have to look it up. Tell me in the comments if you know if this is rare or not. I've never seen this before. But it looked interesting, and it was only a dollar. So I thought, yeah, pick it up. It's really nice. It performs like, um, kind of, it shoots about 40 feet, which is decent. It's very comfortable. This is one of the most comfortable Nerf blasters, or Air Warriors blasters, I have ever held. Or dart blasters. It is, the handle is just like perfectly comfortable. I, 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 can, I have no words to describe this, how comfortable this is. But yeah, it's pretty neat. For a dollar, I could not pass that up. So yeah, it's been yeah, this month's been pretty slow. I haven't found anything since that last video. But here we go. Here's the next find. This was only two dollars. Here is a double breach. And I know a lot of uh, oh sorry about that. I know a lot of people do not like the double breach. Uh and you know it's not practical in any way, shape, or form. But it I uh oh sorry. Uh I have a bunch of Lego stuff from a stop motion I made recently. Oh, that's true. Spoilers. Yeah, so yeah. This is really neat. I actually like the Double Breach a lot. It's it's a cool gimmicky blaster. It feels like a real pump shotgun. But a nerf version. But anyway, it's not practical in any way. But if it was like a, a pistol match, you'd probably be allowed to bring this in. This is a cool blaster. I like it. It's very comfortable in my opinion. Honestly, I wish it held at least four darts. And I would probably really, really like it a lot but still pretty neat blaster for two dollars i couldn't pass it up i like the double breach just because i don't know i know it's not practical i'll probably never use it in a four but yeah so that's the double breach there a long explanation of why i got that plus i don't have one all right the next and final and the best find of this month january preferably yeah is this oh gosh it's so big i can't even show it on the camera let's see if i can Turn it up a notch here. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, this is a big, bad bow. And, oh, gosh, the camera can't really show how big this is. This is literally big. This is, at, well, it's tall. More like the tall, bad bow. But, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I, I saw this here. It was $7 because I got it at a different thrift store than those other ones, which are really cheap. But, yeah, that, that the... I got those two boxers from the same thrift store, and they always have everything super cheap there. This is at a different thrift store that's a lot of things are expensive. Normally, I would not pay $7 for just this. You know where I'm going. This had something with it. Three arrows. I'm not kidding. These arrows are, like, usually, like, on eBay, like, $7 a piece, technically. Uh, these are so rare, and they're a little bent, and... This one's okay, but they're kind of bent, and I don't know how to fix that. So if any of you have any ideas in the comments of how to fix these big bad bow arrows, let me know, please, because I, I want to know. I want to get this. To, it doesn't shoot too accurate because it's bent. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Three arrows. I was like, okay, I'm not passing that up. I mean, heck, what the heck? Yeah, so that was really, this is a really good find. Oh my gosh, the Big Bad Bow is, I've always wanted one. I've never owned one before. I've never even seen one before. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I love this C7 dollars, the price tag right there. And there's a little interesting story I want to, that goes with this. Honesty 
pays. That's all I'm going to say here. So I went thrifting and I found this at the, uh, the, you know, I found this at the thrift store. I was like, oh, good, great. But the orange price tag was on the orange part of the blaster. So the lady there didn't see it. Who was when in the checkout, she, she was trying to look for the price. She's like, oh, there's no price on this. Uh, do you want me to give you $3 for it? And, you know, most people would probably be like, yeah, $3. But if I knew that it was $7, most people would probably be like, yeah, $3. Yeah, okay. If they knew it was $7, you know, because most people aren't really honest. Uh, some people are a lot. Of, I'm sure whoever's watching this is pretty honest. I hope. I mean, I'm, yeah. So I was like this. And for a second, I was tempted to just say, oh, yeah, $3. Okay, that'll work. But I knew that wouldn't be right. So, here's what I did. I said, oh, it's actually $7. I pointed to the price tag. She saw it. She was like, oh, thank you. Uh, you thanks for being honest. And for that, she took off $2 of the price. She, she took $2 off, which is $5, which was not that bad, you know. But that's just a little story. Honesty does pay, and it you should always be honest about things, even if it's, even if being dishonest saves you a little money. It's, it's just good to be honest. Because, I mean, yeah. Anyway, none of that. You probably already know that. If you don't, then you have problems. Anyway, no, you don't. Well, well, maybe you do. Okay, just forget. It. Uh, okay, yeah, anyway. Guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Not many thrifts. Just a few little things, but yeah. I'm hoping to find... I'm hoping to go to some other thrift stores soon and find some other things. Uh, a Lego thrifting video maybe might... Might. Uh, not 100% sure be on the way. I'll just have to see, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I know I've been doing a lot of Lego stuff lately, so I want to kind of catch up on the Nerf side. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment on this, comment your ideas for future videos down below, or if you have any questions or maybe a concern, turn on that bell for notifications. Again, like I said, share this video. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.